Hey everyone, this is another IB tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the use of the shortest path algorithm that comes with IB. Uh, I already have here a wrinkly mesh that we can uh, consider as an approximation of, let's say, uh, terrain. And I am going to show you how the uh, shortest path algorithm can um, avoid the highs and lows of this so-called terrain and stick and uh, connect the two points on this mesh by uh, keeping really close to the ground plane. Okay, let's get started. So, we already have the mesh inside, uh, inside Grasshopper. I am going to create a graph from mesh. Okay, I'm just going to hide it for now. Now, this is um, in the next step. Uh, I need to um, extract the values uh, for each of the edges of the graph, the height values of each of the midpoints of the edges of the graph. For this, I'm going to use the Visualize Graph component. I'm going to connect the freshly created uh, graph. And I'm going to use the edges and uh, those edges I'm just going to evaluate okay and I am going to evaluate those edges at 0 0.5 that means supposedly at their half but in order to really achieve uh, the point the midpoint of the uh, of the curves I need to reparameterize first the curves okay I'm just going to hide the visualize graph component. And now we have all the midpoints of the uh, edges of the graph and also the topological edges of the mesh. Okay, so um, I need to um, decompose uh, those points. And uh, for this, I'm going to use this de deconstruct um, component and the z values because uh, I'm, I only care about uh, how close the values are uh, to the ground plane. This means value zero. I am going to use this uh, math component, this operator called absolute. I'm just gonna plug it here, and we what we get is a bunch of values that range from zero to a maximal number we, we really don't care what this maximal number is because ivy is going to uh, shift all those values uh, when uh, it adds them to the graph uh, to an interval between zero and one so let's go back to ivy and we are going to use custom edge weight and we are going to use the graph, we're going to plug in the graph, and then we are going to plug in those values here. And if uh, I'm gonna hide here everything, if I'm going to turn on the enhanced preview here, and I'm going to select you, we'll already see that uh, uh, the edges that are um, higher or lower than the ground plane are thicker. So th this means they have uh, a much higher weight than the edges that are closer to the ground plane. And this is going to be uh, good for us because this uh, will allow the shortest path algorithm to calculate the best route between the points. So we have uh, the graph and we have, I'm just going to hide it, and we have uh, placed the shortest path component. What we need now is to the shortest path component requires a start phase and uh, we can also uh, input a bunch of end phases for the shortest path. And I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to extract uh, the phase numbers that we uh, need to use for this operation. For this I'm going to use mesh uh, closest point I'm going to plug in the original mesh, the original mesh, and uh, I'm just going to put a bunch of points here in Rhino. Uh, those points I'm going to use as start points and end points. 
For this, I'm going to uh, add them to Grasshopper. I'm just uh, we I will just need um, one point container for the start point and another point container for the end points. And I'm just gonna set multiple points for the end points and set one point for the start point. Okay, and for this, oh, it seems that we don't have a value here yet. Um, let's try this again. Set multiple points here, okay, and set one point. It's already connected. Okay, so if I plug this here, then I already have. Uh, the value that this point connects to okay it seems that um, we only have one point here I'll have to, to try this again set multiple points okay and we have the two points okay and we have the other point here and those two points are already here and they are selected and we have two values okay so those two values will be the endpoints and we can plug in uh, this um, mesh closest point gives us um, the face index of the uh, closest uh, face to the reference points and, and I'm going to plug this here and I'm going to copy this component again and I'm just going to plug in the points and now we have the point that is the starting point and the index I'm going to plug it here and of course the graph I'm going to plug with the graph and what we get I'm gonna turn on the enhanced preview is the um, is another graph actually that has um, only the faces that uh, create this shortest path between the start point and the end point and of course that's why I put the, the points uh, in Rhino so we can move them and as you can see the shortest path traced on the mesh updates with every move of the points we can move the start points and we can move the we can move the start point and we can move the uh, the end points and every time the algorithm recalculates trying to avoid also it, the highest points and the lowest points it tries to find a root that is comprised of the points closest of points closest to the to the ground plane well that was short that that's how you use the um, shortest path component in uh, IV for Grasshopper. Thank you.